All right, so day after Christmas, let's bring everybody along for this one. We got a 2008 Impala with the 3.5. Uh, customers complained is that it was a sometimes a no start, sometimes a start, but a really long extended crank, and it runs as in engine power reduced. Codes that we got in there, uh, we got a 651 volt, five volt reference, five volt, five voltage reference two circuit, which is just supposed to be five volt. <laughs> Um, an accelerated pedal position two circuit high voltage circuit low voltage um, so I'm already uh, into this diagnosis and the reason I'm going to bring you guys along here though is because sometimes we can get ruined by certain information so let me get a uh, hold on a second here let me get a little information up here for you five volt reference now this is what we'll have on the screen um, so your 5 volt reference 1 is on this side, your 5 volt reference 2 is on that side. So just so you'll be able to see it and permission from all that to be able to use this. So shouldn't have any problems there. Um, 5 volt reference 2, what does it go down to? Well it goes down to our accelerator pedal position sensor and it goes over to our crank sensor, it goes over to our throttle body and then the other side here doesn't actually show it but let's get rid of this here because the boys are talking. And uh, ECT is showing up here getting a 5 volt also getting bust somewhere in here probably going to be for a sensor ground there it is there's our ground so our sensor ground is bust over to the coolant temp okay no problem sounds great all that's fine and dandy I will tell you this much this has been unplugged and I'll show you let me get into my data stream here batteries running a little bit low right now but that's okay it won't stop us from doing what we have to do here one thing I wish this thing had was a steering wheel holder so you could hang it up on there while you're trying to work or even better while you're trying to make a video I might have to make one of my own so data stream we'll go into engine uh, this is with an air pump and under air injection re uh, air injection reaction data or secondary air that's where we're gonna find our 5 volt reference 1 and 2 why? I don't know. But no big deal. So we're going to come in here and we're going to select our 5 volt reference. Oops. Let's go in here. 5 volt reference 1 and 5 volt reference 2 is on the next page. And our circuit status for 5 volt reference 1 and 2. And we'll just get those customized. Hit continue. Should have them already selected. Yep. Continue. And it'll give us just what we want to see on the screen there. Which is good enough for me. Except that it didn't show us 5 volt reference 2. Maybe I hit that button. Let me try that again. Customize it. I must have unchecked it. And there we go. So right now with key on on. Our 5 volt reference is at 2. Our 2 is at 0.5 volts, and our 5-volt reference 1 is at 5.1. So, again, 5-volt reference 2, I've already disconnected accelerator pedal, crank sensor, and throttle body, just to verify. I can tell you that we can do something out there right now, and the 5-volt reference will come back, and this thing will start and run fine. The problem that you'll have here is that sometimes the information that they provide you is not always in one diagram. And if you guys have seen Ivan's video, you'll understand that. But what I want to do is, I want to come down here to where we have our secondary air injection. Notice it has an NU3. That's your RPO code. That's to tell you that you have a different production option, one with an air pump, as opposed to one without. And this might take a second here because I'm doing video and I'm using the hotspot off of this same unit let's get out of there try that again there we go and here is our secondary air injection pump solenoid relay air pump relay here is our air pump solenoid again as they're calling it it should be calling it like a diverter valve but look here 5 volt reference pin 1 on X2 doesn't say if that's actually on 5 volt reference 1 or 2, so it looks like it would be separated. Well, I'm here to tell you that if I go out there right now and I disconnect, you guys are going to love this part. 
because they say I'm too mean to the company, but if I come out here and I disconnect the wallet with wings, also known as the uh, diverta solenoid, if we just unplug that, what do you know? Five volts back. And if I was to start this, which I think I'm okay to do right now, fires right up. It's going to be in reduced power mode because I still have to go in there and clear those codes for the APP. But as you can see, the five the five volt stays there. Let's get in here and we'll clear out our codes. Key off, key on, read the DCs, and we'll pick engine. I'll show you guys something more interesting about this car too. The guy who actually looked at this one is actually a good tech. Who normally is right on top of things. And I can't blame him on this one because this one for sure was a little bit wacky. It'll clear out our codes for us. Can't seem to get it to stay focused though. And now we get the system pressure sensor circuit low voltage, which is what we expect. But notice there's no 5 volt reference down. And if I start this thing, let's turn it off and start it again. It should be running okay. Not in reduced power mode. Let's make sure. Actually, I should have just stayed right in there. Read DTCs. Let's make sure our 5 volt reference is gone. And we got the crank sensor code that's in there. Okay. Well, yeah, that would be me, Dopey. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should probably take care of that now. Yeah, because I have it. Uh, yeah, I have it disconnected down there. All right. Well, I, well I'm not going to try to shove my hand in there for video purposes. But as I said though before, I did have it disconnected in there. So anyhow, we get our. 5 volt reference back and uh, obviously this thing will start up fine once I get that crank sensor plugged back in. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention though because not every diagram shows it all in one. And uh, as I said, if you haven't seen Pine Hollow's video yet, if you don't know who Pine Hollow Diagnostics is, get over there and check it out down his last one that he did there for the Christmas series. But I'm pretty sure you all know him already. Um, you know, great case study. And, uh, you know, just one of those things there where, you know, Take a look at all your information. Absorb as much information as you can so we can get through these. Um, yes, Bosch ADS-325. Yes, Rocco's going to kick my butt because I'm using his tool. But, uh, you know, the other tools I had, every battery was dead out there. When I was out here doing my 5-volt reference check, just to show you guys, I was actually tapped in. Turn that back on. While I was out here working, I was actually tapped in. Uh, the Carsco Viso also has a built-in voltmeter on there, so I was tapped in up here on this one wire that actually came down, and it goes down directly down to the crank sensor. Uh, just made it nice and easy for me while I was working out here to see if I unplugged the crank sensor, if it would come back instead of me having to run back and forth. But, uh, yeah, cool little feature. Anyhow, so that'll be the end of this one here. Plug that crank sensor back in, and we're all done. Have a good one.